Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining in tonight. This is the Badgers annual presentation evening 2020. So, as you're well aware, things are a bit different. We're presenting online virtually this year. Um, normally we'd have it all hosted together, a good get together, a bit of a drink. However, we can't this year, unfortunately. So, tonight's going to be hosted by myself and Chris Horton, along with a few guest stars, a few comedy segments maybe on the way. Um, so the 2019-20 season we're celebrating, it's been a real kind of season of two halves. Those first six months, completely as normal. March, lockdown happened, everything changed, the way training stopped, the way running stopped. However, there's been some inspirational figures and they've managed to keep the club going, keep people motivated and hopefully the awards tonight will reflect that. So, without further ado, let's get on with presenting the awards. Hello and welcome to the very first Badgers Online Presentation Awards Ceremony. Um, grab yourself a drink, sit yourself down and enjoy the show. We've got lots of action packed bits and bobs coming up for you during the course of the evening. Uh, we've got lots of presentations to make and awards to give out. So uh, we did, even though we've been hit by Covid, we still have had at least six months of a racing season to report on. Uh, lots of good things going on. So uh, I'm sure we've got lots of people watching. Pitch we can't all be in the same room at the same time, but there's a few people to say hello. Evening Badgers, it's the first year I've not had to organise the annual presentation evening and I'm really looking forward to putting my feet up and enjoying the broadcast. Good luck everyone. Hi all, or bon dia, welcome to Portugal. Hope you're all staying safe and well. Hope you're all looking forward to this evening. Uh, good luck to everybody. See you soon. Hi Badgers, hope you all are well. Wanted to send a quick hello. I uh, tell you all, happy Thanksgiving. We're all doing well. Fingers crossed that in 2021, maybe I can get over there and surprise you and visit. Take care. See you soon. Bye. Hi, gang. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time and it's been not a good time, but now things are getting better. Let's see you in the summer and living up to what it should be. Thanks for that. Now we have the uh, members voted for awards coming up and without further ado, here we go. Our first members voted award this year is the Newcomer Badger. This was won by Mick Bailey back in 2019. So obviously he's not eligible to win it again this year. Um, we had five shortlisted characters and they were Fiona Reedy, Mike Wyant, Stephanie Attenborough, Steve Wilson and Vicky London. And our winner of Newcomer Badger 2020 was Stephanie Attenborough. So well done, Stephanie. Our second award is for the Beginners Badger. And last year, Nicola Orton won this award. Uh, our five shortlisted people are, in no particular order, but the order that follows on the uh, sheet that you're looking at at the moment. We've got Kate Rathbone, Matthew Smith, Paul Baggett, Sarah Baggett and Sue Thauld. And our winner of the Beginner Badger 2020 was Sue Thauld.
Well done, Sue. Now, our next award is Junior Badger, and this was won by Matt Jackson in 2019, who's gone on to uh, run faster and faster. I think he's gone under 20 minutes now for his part run personal best, so that's excellent running from Matt. Um, it just goes to show what, uh, with a bit of encouragement and the right support, that uh, youngsters can uh, go on and achieve. Uh, this year we had five uh, shortlisted ca um, candidates. We've got Evie Whitehead, Harry Chesters, Izzy Bradford, Luke Hustleby Orwin, and Phoebe Smith, all in the running for this award. And our winner of the uh, Junior Badger 2020 was Evie Whitehead. So well done, Evie. Our next award is the Chatterbox Badger Award. Um, we've got five shortlisted people here, all of which have got excellent credentials in uh, taking this award, as anyone who might have spent um, you know, a couple of hours in their company will uh, attest. Now we've got Adrian Payne, Anne-Marie Courier, Claire Wetton, David Jackson and Rachel Crump in the running for this award this year. Um, maybe we should call it the Claire Wetton Award because she's won it, I think, six times out of the last six. And if she wins it again this year, that will be her seventh consecutive victory. A um, bit like The Undertaker at uh, WrestleMania, really. Uh, who is ever going to break her streak? Well, anyway, let's open the envelope and let's have a look and see who's won 2020. It is... It is Claire Wetton once again. Well done, Claire. Is there any stopping you in this particular category? I don't think there is. Well done. Now, we were going to ask Claire to say a few words for us, but uh, unfortunately quite a few of us have got work on Monday morning, so uh, we thought we'd give it a miss. Now, the summer saw the very first Badgers World Cup competition in which 64 Badgers took part in a straight knockout, head-to-head, -head, mostly 5k, against one another to play down to a final. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting and keep people involved for a bit longer, uh, first round losers went into a Shadow Cup competition, which was won by Robert Boland as he beat fellow giant strider Matt Green in the final. The main competition was won by Claire Wetton, who ousted Chris Davis by, I think it was three or four seconds in the final with a handicap system in place. Chris has been running 5k a day for charity this year. He's not got too many of these 5k's left to do, so he's not had a rest day in months. Uh, Claire did fantastically well, improving pretty much every round all the way through the tournament. Uh, she was our very first World Cup winner. So we might see the return of the World Cup. We'll just have to see um, how the land lies next season. To spruce the show up a little bit, we've put a few jokes uh, in amongst the uh, presentation just to uh, keep people interested, hopefully. Um, and uh, anyone who's read the Badger Bugle over the last few years will have noticed that one of our main uh, joke contributors is uh, Ashley T. Dog Taylor. He used to be indecisive, but now he's not so sure. Here he is anyway with a few jokes. My dad told me to stop impersonating a flamingo. I had to put my foot down. Where do thoroughbreds go when they're poorly? To the horse bittle. At school, my teachers told me I'd never amount to anything because I procrastinate so much. I told them, just you wait. Now, as we said at the top of the show, uh, there was at least six months worth of racing to uh, contend with this year. Uh, we had quite a few cross-country races and a couple of road league races uh, before COVID struck. Um, now, we're going to head over to the captains very shortly for their captains' awards. But in the meantime, we'll just have a quick question from um, Quizmaster Extraordinaire, Paul Grubb. Over to you, Paul. Evening, Badgers. Uh, you're enjoying the presentation evening. It's Mr Grubb here. Part-time badger, part-time uh, landlord of the Grub and Lettuce, where we hold regular quizzes. So I've got a quiz question for you. What I want to know was, is, what was the last league race before the lockdown in 2020? So just give me the answer. And uh, for a bonus point, who uh, was the first badger back that day? He come in uh, fifth place overall. So... That's what I want to know, peeps. Hello, Badgers. I'm Eshte, and I was the ladies captain for the Badgers for the 2019-2020 year. So this is the part of the presentation evening where I do the ladies captain awards. Um, usually myself and the men's captain would stand up and would, would do a bit kind of a round up of the races and um, present separate cross-country and league races. Um, because we only had six races, 
all together so we had four cross country and two road races we're doing a joint one each um just to kind of encompass those six races obviously it's been a really strange time um i don't need to talk about that at all um obviously races have stopped since march time um for those six races as always you know badgers gave it their all um, I think turnout across country was probably down a little bit, um, but there was a lot of consistency with who did turn up. So um, Lisa Barnes did all four races, Mandy Stain, um, Cheryl Dewis, Hannah Craig, Nikki Bowman and Teresa Satchel did all four of the cross country races, which I think is great dedication. Um, there are lots of other people that, you know, came and gave their all. You know, we can never... Um, out people's kind of um, motivation and um, you know really giving it their all for races so we're you know we're really proud and impressed as always for that um, there was I think two people that did all six races Lisa Barnes and Teresa Satchel so well done um, I think it's you know it's amazing having that dedication and pushing yourself um, and really being part of a team so well done to everyone that's taken part in any race um, with cross country we'd been promoted the season before and I think we were sitting at ninth in league one which is fine um, you know I think everyone turning up giving it they're all working as a team is is more important than anything so well done to each and every one of you um, and in the road it was all too easy you know too too easy too early to tell um, what was going to happen um, for the award we're going to present that to a lady who was really improving so I think we would have seen really big big things for the road league if it had continued um, she's a trail runner at heart she really you know loves being in the woods and on the trails and I think we've all seen in in lockdown she's been out doing all sorts of, of runs in the woods and, and mountains and things um, she's had a big birthday fairly recently also um, but her running is just getting better and better um, so I'd like to give the runners well the captain's award um, to Pip Weston so congratulations Pip and that's all from me bye bye Hi, I'm Simon Currier. I'm the men's captain for Badgers and I'm here to present the uh, men's captain award for the 2019-2020 season. Now, due to events of this year, um, the decision has been taken to combine um, the cr uh, cross-country award that we normally issue and the road award, so two separate awards typically, but um, due to the lack of races, um, those have been combined to a single award um, for the men's and a single award for the women's. Um, now out of the six scheduled cross-country league races um, we were only able to complete four of those despite that though um, you know the Badgers uh, men team put in a, a fantastic performance again um, and after the four races we were, uh, were actually top of the league so again you know building on great success from the previous years and in the road league um, only able to complete two out of the 11 scheduled races across the uh, spring and summer league but again after those two races uh, Badgers men were top um, in uh, division one and also in the uh, B division as well so you know, some fantastic performances there um, throughout the team. Um, in terms of the four cross country races that did take place um, we had 13 men take part in all four so again fantastic turnout there um, and 18 men actually took part in both of the uh, road races so you know some some brilliant turnouts there again you know the men's team really sort of showing their commitment uh, to the club so that was great to see um, and overall out of the six races um, across both cross country and the road league we had uh, three men take take part in all, in all six um, so those were Mark Repton, Cameron Barnes and Glyn Broadhurst so um, a special mention to them. So just moving on to the award itself um, now it's always a, a, a tough uh, choice trying to pick um, you know an individual winner um, in each of the two uh, disciplines but this year having a single award to issue has made it even more of a challenge um, you know to, to, to pick an individual winner from all of the uh, great performances that we've seen um, you know, it's made it especially tough. Now, this individual um, 
I, I think it's fair to say he was somewhat somewhat of a novice uh, going into the cross country uh, season. Um, had a bit of a baptism of fire at uh, Conti uh, TR24 earlier in 2019, but again showed some great form there. Um, it's built on his uh, fantastic performance from um, the 2018-2019 season. Again, the performance, his performance in the uh, two road leagues um, this year, absolutely outstanding. So the men's captain award for the 2019-2020 season goes to Dave McGowan. Well done, Dave. Thanks for that. Now we have the members voted for awards coming up. And without further ado, here we go. We have five very worthy candidates nominated for Supporter of the Year, or say shortlisted for Supporter of the Year. Uh, we have Anne-Marie Currier, Ladies Vice-Captain of last season. We have Margaret Warren, who is Danny's mum for those who don't know her. We have Louise Horton, my wife. Uh, we have Rachel Crump and we have the one and only Ted Franklin. And our winner of Best Supporter of the Year is... Louise Horton. Well done, Louise. Happy Christmas. Next up is the Humorous Badger. Um, we've got five people shortlisted for this award. We have Anne-Marie Currier, defending champion, uh, last year's winner, 2019. We have the token good-looking guy parachuted into the uh, shortlist just to improve the average looks of the otherwise motley crew that surround him. We have Dave Jackson, always good value for money is our Dave. Another Dave in the mix is Dave McGowan, funny guy is Dave. And we've got from the uh, fans' favourite to the bookies' favourite, it's Rachel Crump in Trap 5. Right, and the winner of the Humorous Badger of the Year this year is... It's Anne-Marie Courier once again. Well done, Amy. Good stuff. Keep up those good, funny jokes. You can't keep a good man down. Here he is again. It's T-Dog. I did think orthopaedic shoes would help me. But I stand corrected. Our next award is for best legs and we've got uh, five nominees here. Well really we should have ten nominees because each leg comes as a pair of two as you would expect in a running club. Um, we have um, Adrian Payne with his fantastic um, quadriceps. He's in the mix. David Earp who's been a bit sort of shy there just showing half of his leg in the photo uh, with them knee length socks covering up the lower leg. We've got um, David Jackson um, with his Pistons of Doom. We've got our only female contender, which is Joanne Hardy with her lovely legs. And we've got the defending champion from 2018. I don't think there's an award for this last year. It's Martin Barrett. A uh, picture here of Martin coming up. And here is a picture of our defending champion, Martin, breezing past uh, former men's captain, A.D. Payne. I think this is at the conclusion of the Hungerton 7 from a couple of years ago. Um, but look at those quads on the, uh, the old man. I should have said, has he got the legs to win it, thinking about it. Right, let's open the envelope and see who is our best legs winner of 2020. It is Joanne Hardy. Well done, Joe. Lovely stuff. Our next award is for Performance of the Year, Outstanding Performance. It's a new award that we brought in to recognise an individual who has performed above and beyond what would be normally expected of them. Um, it doesn't have to be the fastest runner, it doesn't have to be a club record, it just has to be someone who has really exceeded the expectations and pulled out all these stops um, in putting in, well, an outstanding performance, as it says on the tin. We have nine people shortlisted for this award, and we have Becky Harris for her performance in the John Fraser 10. We have Bob Dorr for his excellent effort in the Chester Marathon. We've got Dave McGowan for his superb effort in the Gloucester 20 race just before lockdown. We have Joe James who ran in the quarterfinal of the Badgers World Cup. Um, during lockdown, we have Karen Thompson who ran the Birch Challenge Day 2 Marathon and won it. We have the Chester Marathon featuring once again because Mick Bailey has been nominated for his excellent uh, performance in that. We have Neil Russell with outstanding performance in the Mallory Park Cross Country. Ryan Bennett features, not surprisingly, with the performance at the Stilton 7. And finally, our Last nominee is Stephanie Attenborough, who ran the Warwickshire Bear Ultra, which I believe was 40 miles, which is a long way to run. So, our winner, or our first ever winner, our inaugural winner of the Outstanding Performance uh, 2020 is... It's Mick Bailey for his effort at the Chester Marathon. So, well done, Mick. Um, not only did he break the club record at the Chester Marathon for the uh, over 60s age group 
who broke a good club record because I think Martin Barrett previously held it, who's a little bit younger than Mick and by no means um, a, a bad runner. And Mick also finished first in his age category, the V65 at the Chester Marathon, which an age category win is, is good enough. But um, to do it somewhere like Chester, where you've got a couple of thousand people uh, running in the field, is absolutely outstanding. So a worthy winner, I think it's fair to say. Well done, Mick. Uh, congratulations to you. Right, I'm going to hand over to uh, Danny Warren shortly. Um, in the meantime, we'll have a quick intermission. Danny's going to be handing out the remainder of our voted uh, members voted awards. Uh, when we come back, I'll be handing out the mileage awards and uh, other bits and bobs too. Stay tuned. Leader of the Year. The nominees are Chris Horton, Claire Wetton, Danny Warren, Lisa Dennis, and Nivette Chester. Just before I present the award to Run Leader of the Year, I would like to thank all of our run leaders and coaches. It's no easy task taking the groups, planning the sessions, doing the risk assessments, keeping it ha uh, friendly, happy, and engaging for all of our members. Thank you. Any of you could have won this award not just those who are nominated. So without further ado, the winner is Lisa Dennis. Throughout lockdown, Lisa took a small group of people, taking them from couch to 5K and getting them back running again. Well done, Lisa. Congratulations. Spirit of the Badger. The nominees are Alan Argyle, Chris Horton, David Jackson, Judy Parks and Lisa Dennis. What a great list of nominees. The Spirit of the Badger Award is voted for by the members and is for the person, in their opinion, has kept to the club ethos of friendly supportive running for all abilities. And that person is... Chris Horton. Chris has kept us all engaged throughout lockdown with the Super League and the World Cup. Congratulations, Chris. Well done. Badger Role Model. The nominees are Alan Argyle, Chris Horton, Danny Warren, 
Karen Thompson, Lisa Dennis, and Nikki Bowman. Some great names there. The role model of the year is the person and members look up to and want to imitate. It was really good to see us a 50-50 split of both male and female this year. We had six nominees as the joint tie. The winner is Nikki Bowman. Congratulations, Nikki. Runners Badger. The nominees are Cheryl Dewis, Chris Horton, Joanne Hardy, Mark Repton, and Terry Argyle. Congratulations. Just making that short list is achievement enough. Runners Badger is my favourite award of the night. It's voted for not by the BMG, but by the members, by your fellow peers. It's what makes it such a special award. And the winner is Chris Horton. Congratulations, Chris. I think this might be your night. Next we move on to our mileage awards where we recognise the runners that have run the furthest either in training or in racing in the 12 months up until the end of August 2020. Uh, Liz Peel is our ladies champion with 1,586 miles covered incorporating several marathons within that total. If you think that's a long way you should look at Mark Cox's total over 750 miles further with 2,340 miles covered. A staggering amount of miles. Well done to you too. Congratulations. Now, who thinks they got the answer to Paul Grubb's quiz question earlier on? Let's find out uh, if you got it right or not. Paul. Well then, did you get the answer right? I'll tell you what the answer was. It was Kibworth. Kibworth 6. And Ryan Bennett was the first badger back that day in 5th. But surprisingly enough, a bit of a fact here of the day, there was an actual badger there that was actually quicker than him by one second. Because uh, Bennett was hugging the start line, Matt Scarsbrook finished in sixth place. But if they'd have been on the start line together, he would have nicked fifth place. So, work that one out. Anyway, have a good rest of the evening, folks. And I'll uh, see you on the other side. Stay safe, peeps. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. Now, a bit more from T-Dog. Before we criticise someone, Walk a mile in their shoes. That way, when you do criticise them, you're a mile away and you have their shoes. The Badger Standard Times Awards. This is an award that is personalised to you. It is based on your own running ability and it's a fantastic memento each year to look back at to see where you are running. Copper Award at merit level Stephanie Atterborough. Bronze Award. At merit level, Paul Grubb, Holly McKay, Andy Smith, Ashley Taylor. And at distinction level, Wayne Repton. Bronze Plus Award. At merit level, Cameron Barnes, Robert Boland, Kerry Clover, John Davies, Wayne Repton, and Lil Salter. At distinction level, Alan Argyle. Silver Award. At merit level, Judy Parks and Maggie Savinbadden. Silver Plus. At merit level, Alan Argyle and Robert Crow. Gold Award. At distinction level, Mark Repton. 
Gold Plus Award, Philippa Weston, Platinum Plus Award, at distinction level, Chris Horton. Right, next we have the um, Badgers Managing Group and Run Leader voted for awards. Uh, first of all, we have the Most Improved Male. The top five nominated Badgers for Most Improved Male of the Year. Cameron Barnes, Carl Savage, Mark Cox, Mark Repton and Mick Bailey. So we've got five excellent nominees there for this award um, and the winner of the Badgers Most Improved Male 2020 is Carl Savage. Well done, Carl. Carl's had an excellent season. He's come on leaps and bounds since I saw first saw him running at the club, um, and it's thoroughly deserved. So well done, that man. Our next award is for the Most Improved Badgers Female of 2020. The top five candidates for the most improved female of the year are Anne Deveni, Joe Davis, Joe Hardy, Karen Draper and Zoe Yateman. Right, and the winner of the Badgers most improved female in 2020 is Joanne Hardy. Very well done Joanne, thoroughly deserved, you've had an excellent season and uh, long may it continue. The top five nominees for Most Committed Badger are me, Danny Warren, Judy Parks, Lil Suter and Rachel Crump. So the winner of the Most Committed Badger in 2020 is Danny Warren. Uh, an excellent accolade, Danny. That's the third time I think in three years that he's won this award. Um, and can I just say that I think it was a fantastically deserved, um, I've worked with him on the Badgers management group now for a number of years and a lot of you, I've seen how hard he works, not just with setting up what is a fantastic website and whatnot, but some of the other things as well that he does. Uh, for example, this year we were left in the lurch a little bit with not having any um, registration um, uh, capability with our membership secretaries both having departed in the month prior um, and Danny pretty much, with a bit of help from Karen, um, put the whole club through um, processed every single membership um, at very short notice in, in February to make sure we're all able to get out and, and race and it's things like that that people don't necessarily always see um, that was in addition to his other duties having that website going to league meetings and turn up at races no one's turned up to more races than here so I think in terms of commitment 
and going to the train as well. Um, absolutely, 100% thoroughly deserved. And that's not to say that the other nominees weren't equally deserving because they've had some excellent uh, yeah, commitment to the club. Um, so uh, it's, it's, great to, uh, it's great to be part of a club with so many people giving so much. Badger of the Year. The nominees are Chris Horton, Danny Warren, David McGowan, Mark Repton, and Michael Bailey. A really strong group of names there, so I'll get straight to it. The 2019-20 Badger of the Year is Chris Horton. Thank you, Chris. I don't think the club could have got through this lockdown without you. Truly amazing. Thank you from everyone. It's now time for the Chairperson's Special Recognition Award. At the start of this process, I had three names in mind. After watching the shortlisting and the final voting, two of those names have already picked up awards tonight and have been highly commended. The third has narrowly missed out after being shortlisted. They were shortlisted for Role Model of the Year because they are a fine inspiration to others through their running. They were also shortlisted for Performance of the Year because of their outstanding double marathon efforts. She's probably worked out who it is and sat at home already cringing. I give you the winner of the 2019-20 Special Recognition Award, Karen Thompson. Thank you Karen for everything you have done for the club. You've been a true inspiration to us all and have left me some massive shoes to fill. Congratulations. Right, that pretty much wraps up the action for the show for today. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. I'd just like to say on the last award, a uh, fantastic choice in my opinion. Uh, Karen's got the chairperson's award. I've worked on the BMG with Karen for five years. Uh, I think she's been on the BMG for even longer than that before I joined. Um, she's been absolutely fantastic in her role um, and I was sad when she decided to step down. Uh, she's been so hard working, conscientious, thorough, professional, supportive. She's been brilliant and thoroughly, thoroughly deserves that award. Um, a couple of other people just like to give a mention to uh, Rachel Crump, one of my most popular badges, nominated quite a few times tonight. Um, she's um, in the wars again, I think it should be said. She's uh, suffering from breast cancer at the moment for people who don't know. Um, and she just wanted to say hello to everybody and she's she's doing her best to sort of like battle back to fitness. Uh, she wanted to get through a special mention to Sarah Vine who again many of you might know is going through the same sort of thing and Sarah has been a, a massive massive help to uh, to Rachel through this uh, very very difficult process. So when we look at the season we might think mm, it's not been a great season really because you know, league season has been sort of knocked out, we've had to do standard times around, we can't go to training, social events have been cancelled. There's lots of reasons that we think oh, things aren't quite great. I think if we look at things in perspective, that's quite a small price to pay really for some of the, the trials and tribulations that other people are having to sort of go through at the moment, particularly like Rachel and Sarah. So uh, let's just kind of keep things in perspective and hope for a, a better outcome in 2021 all round for everybody. So I hope you've enjoyed the show. Um, hopefully we'll be seeing each other um, in, at training uh, before too long. And um, yeah, stay safe everybody. Have a good Christmas and Happy New Year. And uh, let's hope uh, things will be looking a lot rosier in 2021. Thank you. Well that's it, thank you for watching. Just like to say a massive congratulations to all of our award winners. Thank you for all of you for voting. And there's one last thing we would like to give away. And that's to all of our members. We realise the last year has been a bit rubbish. You haven't actually got much for your money out of your membership fees. Therefore, 
For everyone who is currently a member, next year we'd like to give you a free social membership. If you would like to upgrade that to a full membership, you can do so by paying the EA fees. Full details of all of this will be to follow shortly. All that's left to say is bye and happy running.